backslash n welcome to the latest news on banking in asia pacific in its latest report fitch ratings said that banks in the region are resilient to the risks highlighted by the banking sector in the united states fitch noted that direct exposures among fitch rated banks in the asia pacific region to silicon valley bank and signature bank are not material enough to negatively affect credit profiles Recently, U.S. Treasury Secretary Yellen said that not all uninsured deposits will be protected in future bank failures, but Fitch believes the securities portfolio valuation risks are manageable for APAC banks and that the vulnerability of digital banks in the region is offset by the likelihood that authorities will provide liquidity support if needed. Furthermore, Fitch said that in countries like Australia, interest rate risk management is emphasized, Japanese banks have been reducing securities investments and duration and that the creditworthiness of many Fitch-rated banks in the APAC region is heavily influenced by prospects of extraordinary sovereign support. This has given APAC banks the confidence to continue on the path towards success. But what will be the effects of any potential changes to U.S. monetary policy? Fitch believes that any potential changes in U.S. monetary policy, like an earlier-than-expected rate cut instead of a rate hike, would negatively affect net interest earnings but would aid asset quality, meaning that no meaningful effect would be felt on bank ratings. It is clear, then, that APAC banks are well positioned to weather any risks they might encounter in the coming days. We will continue to keep an eye on this story and bring you the latest updates on banking in the APAC region. Thank you for tuning in.